Danielle is going to demonstrate how to get dressed in the morning if you are an L2 spinal cord level injury. Hi, Danielle. Hi. Okay, so first thing we need to do is prep ourselves up. Danielle has her hip flexion and she has abs, um, so what she's missing is from here down. So she needs to be able to prop herself up on her elbows. So go ahead and bend your elbows to prop up. You need at least 60 degrees of shoulder extension to be able to do this. Prop up to straight arms. So you need some strong triceps. Um, your hip flexion, you need to be able to reach across to abduct your legs. And the other one to widen that base of support for dynamic sitting balance. So she, from in this position, she can sit up without using her hands. From here, she's gonna lift up one leg at the lower leg. Mm -hmm. Slide one leg on. Get it all the way up to the thigh. Same thing on the other side. I just switch hands. There you go. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Okay, so from here she's going to lay back down and use a rolling motion to get them the rest of the way up. Stretchy pants and long socks are recommended. Good job. Yeah. I put it in there for a reason. No, I don't know why it's like four other. Lines up with other stuff. That's the way I have it. Like, what are you transferring from our team? Brian is going to demonstrate how we would ambulate around the house if you were a level L2 spinal cord injury with lost strand crutches and KAFOs. So he's going to use a four point gait pattern, leading with the right, following with the left, leading with the left, following with the right. He would be using a lot of hip hiking, circumduction, keeping a wide base of support, and those KAFOs are going to keep the um, the foot from dragging. So this would be household ambulation. Good job, Brian. Thank you. It's a lot of work. Okay. So let's just kind of talk about how Brian's wheelchair it's an adaptive wheelchair that's different than um, other wheelchairs. Uh, we have his feet are secured by a strap down here since he doesn't have any movement in the lower limbs. And we've got handles right here on the side, armrests, or they could come out or turn around to push. So it's kind of easy uh, to take out. And it's a little more narrower. The back of the chair, um, has a little lower kind of uh, back right there. So it comes out a little more narrow. But yeah, so that's a little bit different of what he's going to be using to get around into the community. Hey, Brian, let's go explore the community. Hey, sounds good. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can uh, get some hand sanitizer over here from the store. Oh, nice. Let's head to the cafeteria. Maybe we could get something from this vending machine. Having a craving here. Let's see. Tricks 
far as my favorite sneakers, I'll say my name is one. Yeah, uh, sneakers. You like sneakers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work for you. Can we, as video therapists, just sort of be like this? I think we should just say that we've discovered our first roadblock. Okay. That would be a serious problem for a patient that's just trying to transfer over to the toilet. And that. And therefore, I will be assisting. I really. I think she doesn't want to see you poop. Okay. She doesn't want you to I think it's She doesn't want you to watch her poop. We need to come up with something better. I think we need to come up with something that the patient could do on their own. Okay, uh, Lori is in the wheelchair and she's going to demonstrate a transfer from the wheelchair to the commode. Um, so you can see that she has removed the left arm rest and that there are uh, railings that she can't use to perform the transfer. So um, she's got the wheelchair locked. And the first step in this we found out is that the feet need to come off of the pedal and go onto the ground, otherwise the wheelchair might slide out from under you. This is a really important feature that you need to be aware of when you have a wheelchair. All right, she's going to use her arms to laterally scoop herself um, forward and sideways, inches matter. You're going to use the railing and her triceps and extend those elbows and very gently and smoothly go from the wheelchair to the commode, repositioning her legs as she gets there. And this is how it's done. <laughs> for me to hear. I walked in here by mistake because on the second floor, this is where the men's room is. Are you filming me? Just getting evidence of where you were. <laughs> here, we'll try it again, hold on. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Trump forward. Trump forward. Oh, jeez. So I'm going to spot Brian for instructional purposes, but this is how we would climb a small curve from an uneven surface to a an unlevel surface to a level surface. Right. So he's going to lift up those bottom legs with a little bit of a height. Good job. Now lean your trunk forward to get the rest of the way up. Awesome. Here we are in the community getting into a car. So Brian's going to roll up to the car, remove the armrest on the side of the car, lock the wheelchair, tricep dip for a lateral weight shift, reach up and pull himself into the car.